Rain barrels allow you to collect rainwater to use when it's dry or during a drought. They're pretty easy to make and don't require many materials. Charles Lancaster from the Catoosa County Extension Office gives us a how-to on making your own rain barrel. Ask any gardener and they'll likely agree, rainwater is the best water for grass and plants. There's just something about natural water, you know, rainwater that seems to do a lot better, makes things prettier. Charles says the hardest part of making a rain barrel is actually finding the barrel. Check out flea markets, yard sales, and general stores. We'll make sure that you get a food grade barrel, which means nothing that has petroleum products in it or anything like that. You'll also need a drill, drainage pipe, and a hose bib. Okay, so we are about to make Make our very own rain barrel. What do we need to do before we even start with any of the tools? Well, of course, safety is very important. So, first of all, have some safety glasses. We'll cut the hole in the top. Then clean up the edges with a pocket knife. Next, we are going to uh, put our bib in. So, what we'll do, what, the way I like to do it is I go away from the, uh, the big hole to put the bib on the far side. So, we'll come over to the opposite side. Drill the hole up away from the ground. That's because the bottom of the barrel may have sludge. And you'll need enough room to connect the bib to a hose or fit a jug underneath. Plumber's tape helps secure the hose bib. The trick when drilling is to always use a smaller bit to get a good tight fit on your piping or bib. Twist it right in. And I like to go until it uh, digs just a tad into the plastic. For the drain holes, think before you drill. You can put multiple barrels side by side so when one is full, the water will spill into the next. The first barrel, one hole successive barrels in a line, two holes. Put the hole close to the top so you maximize the water that gets in the barrel. Do you think I could try to do this? Sure, oh yeah, that's, okay. that's probably the easiest part of it. No, there we no. go, <laughs> I think I can handle that. <laughs> All right, so just twisting that in. Oh yeah, and it fits in quite nicely. Yes ma'am. Deciding on where to place your rain barrel is crucial. Put it close to the garden or have an easy way to get it there. Remember that a gallon of water weighs about 8.3 pounds and so once you get 55 gallons in here we're looking at over what 400 and some odd pounds. That's heavy. Yeah. This rain barrel has been at the Catoosa County Extension Office for about five years. So we tied into our existing uh, downspout from our roof and, and we have a pretty good sized roof so it didn't take very long for this to fill up you know when we have a good rain. The only problem is sometimes they have to worry about overflow because it stays right here or runs into the foundation. A solution would be to drain the water to the tar. Charles says remember, it's best to try and funnel the water in rather than waiting for it to fall. And if you're concerned about mosquitoes gathering near or in your rain barrel, Charles says you can actually put a few drops of vegetable oil or a mosquito dunk wafer into the water to deter those pesky little skeeters. In regards to cleaning, Charles suggests fully dumping it out at least once a year. Good job. Why, thank you. Wow. That I didn't, was interesting. I didn't even realize. Well, the biggest tip, I think, was really putting it close to the garden because that rain barrel is going to get oh, yeah. heavy. Sure. Yeah, you know.